Great to have with us here on DXB today. Thanks so much indeed for keeping locked here on Dubai One TV. So uh, we are investigating all things Dubai in terms of is this a city of the ages? Is this somewhere where you see you spending the rest of your life? Well, to that end, and we've invited in a number of local pioneers in their own field. Next guest is uh, no uh, is one with an accomplished uh, well an accomplished artist first and foremost. And went on to help create various art exhibitions through one of Dubai's most prestigious art institutes. It's been to welcome to the show Andiali Senbala from the Dubai Arts Centre, the DIAC, the Dubai International Arts Centre, to give it its full title. Great to have you with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm honoured to be here. It's been a cornerstone, the centre uh, of the, the arts landscape here for many, many years. But as we've just been talking about with all of the fields, be it literature, be it education, be it food, that's evolved very quickly as well. How has the art scene evolved in step with that, with that evolution at the moment? And how has the centre sort of stayed on top of that? Uh, okay, so uh, it's my privilege to actually talk about the art centre. It is the oldest art centre. It was established in 1976. Uh, yes, that old. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and um, we've held our position here for so long in spite of so many art uh, institutes and places mushrooming. So uh, the thing is that we are a home for artists not only here in Dubai and the UAE, but international as well. So anyone who comes uh, into Dubai, they, any creative person in fact, and comes and gets connected to us right away. Mm. So I think we've stayed relevant and we've stayed pretty much on top of the game because uh, we've been participating in all of the current uh, art shows like the World Art Dubai every year yeah. and uh, even international art shows. So we have a lot of artists under our banner mm. and we provide a home to them. You know? uh, that was actually going to be my question to you because with the fast expansion of the art scene in the city, what criteria do you consider before selecting artists and exhibitions that you would like to partake in? All right, so uh, we don't only have visual artists, we have sculptures, we have potters, we have uh, musicians, uh, we have artists of every genre. Uh, so in fact, that's where we pride ourselves, that artists, uh, amateurs, uh, upcoming, even accomplished artists get a place in the Art Center for exhibitions and to participate in our events. So it is not, uh, you know, we are not very snobbish about there has to be a certain kind of uh, standard, no. Because I think creatives are, uh, you know, they're constantly coming out and, you know, want to be there in the game and want to be showcased and uh, given a platform. And that's what we do. And we've, we've been doing that for so many years. So, yes. Um, I just wondered if you could share a couple of the classes that you have currently that are really popular because I think it's an incredible resource to be able to pop along to the Dubai International Arts Centre and join those classes um, and they're offered all times, morning, afternoon, evenings, weekends. Yes, thank you. So uh, we do offer throughout the week except on Sundays of course, morning, afternoon and evenings. We have all genre of art. Uh, I'm an abstract and uh, abstract art and mixed media artist myself. Uh, there are watercolours, there's oil painting, there is realistic painting, there's abstract, there's uh, pottery, there's sculpture, there's uh, design, fashion, interior, uh, there is uh, music as well. So in fact, uh, languages as well. So anything that's creative, we have classes for. And we also have workshops by international artists who come into Dubai and give those workshops. Uh, so, uh, and we also have studio spaces for artists. Now this is a very important thing I wanted to mention because uh, of lack of space for a lot of artists here, they don't have a place to really do their art. So we provide studio spaces as well for them to come in and uh, for potters, for sculptures, for artists to come in and use the space to uh, paint. And what about you personally? Uh, you're very stylish, you look very cool. Um, has it in, expanded your artistic flair, having all of these different artists in? Oh yes, absolutely. I think all artists would uh, agree with me that this collaboration with different artists that we work with, and we have about more than 100 nationalities as members and artists in the Art Centre. So we get to uh, you know, kind of meet and interact with all of them from different cultures and traditions. So it's really empowering and uh, it's a fantastic resource. <coughs> Going back to the sort of theme of the show in terms of 
a city for all ages. Is there something you've seen? I mean, it's interesting that you're a centre built on community, the building of that creative community. A lot of people think Dubai, they'll think glitz, they'll think corporate, they'll think wealth, etc. And yet building that creative community is key to any city. And is it something that's open to all ages? Yes, absolutely. And you're right. We stress on the community. Right. So, uh, uh, and a community is really someone who finds a home and support mm. where we are. Uh, so all ages really, we have children's classes, we mm. have teen classes, we have, um, I have students over uh, 65, 70 years old, you know. So it's really fantastic to have these people come in and do a course, mm. you know, and at any time, their convenience. Mm. So, and they also get to showcase their artwork. Well, that's the other thing, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, the ability, and it sort of goes back to the, you know, we've spoken in the past, haven't we, about kids that have been educated, grown up here, who've gone on to write books, write mm -hmm. poetry, to perform as well. Same with art yes. as well. Giving them the showcase is, is, is key to that. Absolutely. What they start as a child or, or as a teenager, they'll take it on. And, um, you know, it gives them confidence. It's hugely <coughs> important. You know, them doing their first piano recital or, mm. or having an art exhibition at school where they've got a star and, and things like that. It, it stays with the children forever. And what's so interesting, Ravi uh, was started, we were st co-founded Magrudis in 1975, you were 1976, yes. and Ravi's I think was 1978. Yeah. All of us as community in that time, we were all accessible because I, uh, where our house is, the arts center, the original one, was very near to Magrudis sort of in a villa, um, and it had the old library in it. And it was very much a community that you could walk from where you lived or you, you know it was a short drive there was no traffic if you saw two cars you thought gosh two cars on the road gosh it's a busy day today <laughs> um, but there was that huge sense of community and the thing about Jamira is it's so multinational and always has been and that's what's so lovely about that that community that um, it was not you know it wasn't a sort of a, mm. a gated community as such it was also all, 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 everyone got on together the children yeah. would play outside the beach was in front and you could just go and enjoy the sea and the sand and everything. I mean, we could talk about all, old Dubai all day long, but unfortunately on this occasion, we've run short of time. Diali, thank you so much for your time. And it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Lane, I believe you have our DXB in 60 quiz. I do have the DXB in 60. Now, Isabel, we can have a whole show dedicated to you, easy with your stories and your tales. Um, but the show's quick and we need another 60 seconds, and I'm gonna ask you as many questions in those 60 seconds as possible to get sure. as much information out of you <laughs> as possible. So um, we're gonna count down three, two, one, and go. Now, if you weren't in the field of literature, what would you be doing? Midwife. Mm. Uh, your first job? Uh, teacher. Mm. Your motto in life and work? Um, it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Ooh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Uh, I think. This is gonna be a tough one. Your favorite author? Ernest Hemingway, oh, and for whom the bell tolls. Done, done. Um, your go-to restaurant in Dubai? I can't say rabbit. <laughs> um, uh, I love Netsu in the Mandarin. The, um, it's a family favorite, and we sit outside, the seas in front of us, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's one of my favorites as well. Um, a superpower you wish you had? Uh, a superpower I wished I'd ha I have. Um, nothing. Hmm. Nothing. An iconic Dubai landmark. The desert. Nice. And if you could have dinner with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Queen Elizabeth II. That's fantastic. And I have to give you the last one. Why Dubai? Uh, I followed my heart. My husband's from Dubai, he was studying, I'm from Cambridge, he was studying English there with a group of, uh, uh, we call them Dubai boys, they were all from Dubai, had come there to improve their English, and we were introduced by a mutual friend, and I followed my heart, and uh, uh, that was a long time ago, and I couldn't have made a better decision, I've been so lucky. That's a story in itself, when's your biography coming out? 
Never. <laughs> I have got so many stories that people, if I ever told them, they would never believe me. So I'll keep them to myself. <laughs> Need to set up another literature festival. Wouldn't you? That's, that's that one, that's for sure. Listen, can't thank you enough for guest co-hosting. It's always you. good to catch up. Our thanks to you, Isabel Everhall, OBE, for joining us at Live as our guest co-host. And Dilly, thanks so much indeed for thank being you. with us here this Excellent. evening as well. Great to have you on board. We're not going anywhere. We're sticking around, though. In fact, if you listen carefully, you might be able to hear Matt warming up his saxophone. That's coming up in just a few moments. Time to stay with us.